<laughs> Do you like abs? Do you like lines? I have my graphics tablet. I'm drawing today. It's been a while since I actually drew. So back in January, I did the outline of a drawing of Asuma Saratobi, who is probably one of my favourite characters in anime as it is. He's such a he's such a good character. It had such a fantastic arc. It was oh just I really really loved Asuma, um, and his character just brought a lot to to Naruto. I feel um, so I I very much like his character, but that also means that I've drawn him a fair few times. <laughs> I drew him in pencil and then I drew him black and white with Kuro and I, and then I drew him in colour with Kuro and I, and then I started doing the drawing that I've got today. So I decided that instead of re-drawing Asuma Saratobi again, I am going to change that drawing into a drawing of Gato. What's his full name? Suguru Gato? I am changing him. The, the, the words will not leave my mouth. But yeah, so tonight, that is what I'm doing. I am turning my Asuma Saratobi line art into Suguru Gato from Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, yeah, so I normally don't do line art on stream because it's like such a, I feel like it's such a pressure. So I am doing that tonight and I feel pressure. <laughs> I get scared of drawing line art when I'm on stream, but it's okay. Where's my button? Drawing, way, there we go. Do I want to have him in the kimono or do I want to have him in his season two flashback outfit? I quite, I, I do like the kimono, but I don't know if I want, I want to draw it. But the um, the outfit that he's got on in like early season two is very plain. I mean, it's fan art. We, do, we don't have to be precise with it because it is just, it's just a nice happy little. I think I might put him in the kimono with his long hair, but I don't want to put the, I don't want to put the, thing on it. What's it called? Scar. Nope. Stitching. Okay. So Gato's face is a bit more like elongated than what Asuma's is. So we want to, he's got quite a, like a longer, he's actually got quite lo much longer features like all over. Right. And this is a new layer, yeah. So what we want to do, um, We want to make his, because his nose is much smaller and sharper as well. So we want to, we want to bring that in. We want to bring his chin down as well, because his chin is much longer than Asuma's. He obviously doesn't have the beard, so let's get... <laughs> what a massive forehead you have there. Um, let's get rid of this nose. And yes, I do know that I am um, not erasing. So I want to keep it there. We'll get rid of the beard. I want to get these lips. I wasn't actually happy with how I did the lips for asthma anyway. Let's I'm just gonna stretch them out. I want to bring his ow, she just barred me with her face. Let's bring because his nose does kind of point up a little bit. I want to bring his chin just in. His face is more long as well. Hold on. If I get this part. Do -do -do. Much sharper, actually. Let's instead of doing that, because I think I feel like his chin, like his jawline, comes more sharper up. Because Asuma's face is quite like, um, I don't know. He's got like a little chopper, <laughs> like a chubby face. Whereas I feel Gatos has Gatos. <laughs> 
uh, has a, a much like sharper jawline. Do you know, I feel like he's like, like pushing his chin forward. Let's bring that in a bit. I think his eyebrows are a little bit higher as well. Let's elongate his eyes a little bit. Yeah, he's got like much sharper eyes. I'm just gonna stretch. I need to stop leaning this way. I do that quite often. A little bit more. Yeah, his, his mouth is still too far forward. Um, let's see. I definitely need to work a little bit on his mouth. Although I do tend to do that more when I've like when I'm actually going to colour it, it's when I work more on the mouth because I find it really, really I, I don't know, I find it really difficult drawing mouths for some reason. I really struggle. I thought I was making it bare, but I think I've just made it worse. Hold on. No. That's not it. Hmm. His lips are actually further down his face, I feel. How does that look? I still feel like they're too narrow. His nose is still too bulbous. Let's fix his nose. Very pointy, hold on. Let's let's change the point of it. I don't like the point of it. What is the point of it? Guys, what's the point? I think this is just gonna be a, a stream of me struggling to draw a face. <laughs> I always struggle to draw um, faces though. I find it really really difficult. Right, I'm going to move on from that for a second and do a little bit of his hairline, so he has quite a square head. And it goes back a little bit here and then down. His ears are really long, actually. And quite angular. A big lobe. <laughs> big your lobe. Nice. Oh, here mine actually comes to here. Yeah, and then goes up. Like that way. And then, and then we have it going along. So let's get rid of here. Hmm. His eyebrows come really far back in his face as well. His eyes are really long. Where are they like over here? They're also closed there. Let's get a good old picture up. Maybe a close picture. Yeah, they're really long. They're really long and very angular. Yeah, I'm struggling with the lips. But, um, well, <laughs> I've kind of abandoned the lips for a second because I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with the lips. I always struggle drawing lips though. But it is good to know that it isn't just me that finds it weird. It's normally um, my, my sister gets it. <laughs> she gets the... Uh... Natalie, can you please come and have a look and tell me if this is shit? <laughs> We all need a sister like that. Okay, so we're doing the long hair for this one. So we need to we need to bring his hair up this way a bit. But hair that comes down here. Which is actually fine for me because I don't like drawing like that that bit of the forehead at the back. I don't like drawing it and colouring it. So let's give him this little this little nice bit of hair to cover my sins. We'll take away Asuma's little like flick that's up here as well because it doesn't need that. How? Yeah, yeah, so his hair does all come down that way. Uh, this would come out a little bit like that. I still don't really like how pointy I've done his nose. Is this here? Yeah. Make it a little bit thinner as well. Okay. So his hair kind of comes like 
Got to work it out. Yeah. See how it comes round this way. And up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Probably doesn't go as high. I've done the whole angle of the lips wrong. No, they're too thick for his lips. He doesn't have thick lips. He's quite thin lips. I do think that this comes a little bit more round though. Hold on, I'm going to do something. Um, I'm going to put these on their own layer because I'm going to fuck around with them a little bit. I, I feel like it's, the whole face just comes out a little bit too far. Do you not think? Let's go back up to this layer. I'm going to do this. That looks a little better. I feel like as well this chin over here could do with coming back a little bit too. This needs to come in just a little bit. I also feel like his lips are just a little bit too like, I don't know, too full. I feel like he's got really thin lips. I know that it's literally, <laughs> it's literally a line but see like when you look at the picture of where like that, that bottom line is, it's really 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 narrow. And the top as well, so I feel like he's got much thinner lips than this. Oh, he's looking so much like fucking Aaron Yeager, Jesus. I want to do his long hair. Kind of. I, I know, I know it's... Like, for me, I quite like to draw abs and such, so I am going to, I'm going to take a little bit of clothing off him. Would he have something on underneath, though? I feel like with that type of kimono, it's just like a couple of layers, so probably not. So he'd be a little bit on the, on the buff side. On the uh, nudie side. Well, not nudie side but definitely less clothing than what I have him in just now. Well, than what I had asthma in. Luckily, I had drawn all that because I was actually thinking about drawing asthma topless with like, well, the shirt open with the abs out and then I decided to put a, a t-shirt on him because I was like, ah, I've, I've already drawn so many half naked characters. Why the fuck, he looks so much like Aaron fucking Jaeger. No, it's fine. It'll, it'll look better soon. It'll look better soon. I think what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to get rid of all this. Leave him with his head. There we go. Yeah, his hair is very, very layered. So let's, um, comes up at the back. So it comes up at the back and it's in like a little, a little thing here. And bundles up in this. Is it a knot that he's got? Like a, like a bun? Oh. Get a little man bun. Well, I've put that like way too far out of his head. I love digital art because I can cheat. It would actually really just come right here, wouldn't it? Yeah, that does look much nicer. Maybe a little bit falling over his chest. That may be nice. I still feel like his little bun is too little. Let's make his bun a bit bigger. <laughs> I will tidy up all this line art as well. <laughs> Maybe actually the, the, the bun is still a, a little higher? I think it might need to be a little bit higher. Let's do that. Let's let's see how it looks. We have a little bit more behind his head actually. Oh yeah, 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 that's much better. That's much better. Um, this is the this is the basic stage. This is the stage that I struggle with the most because it's like figuring out. Because I'm I'm not like one of those people that's just like instantly gets it and like knows exactly what they're doing. It takes me a long time to figure out. Oh, okay, so this is the angle that I'm missing, and this is what I need to do to fix it. Um, it takes me much longer than uh, most most digital artists because I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. <laughs> I draw something I'm like, cool I've got it, that's fine. <laughs> Usually by accident. Right, now to decide how naked I want to make him. He's got those like really really big baggy pants, like the, the big really really big sleeves on this one so it's got to be fun to try and draw. Let's, let's create a new layer for that shall we. 
Um, so <clears throat> I kind of want them to have what what waistband do kimono trousers have? I'm just going to Google kimono trousers. Kimono pants. I keep forgetting they're called pants and not trousers. And they are pretty loose. And the ones that like come in at the bottom as well. So scared to do sleeves because they're like the big, big, long ones that come down. I would quite like to keep them in, in just his shirt <laughs> because, like, so my thoughts were I can either have him in his like kimono, which is like the the present day outfit that he's in, or I can have him in his flashback outfit, which is the boys' school uniform type thing. Like, oh, which one do I want though? Because if I was to leave it like this, it would actually be very, very close to the like boys' school uniform thing that he has going on in season, eh, like in the flashbacks. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have the kimono on a separate layer, and then I can just, I can just compare which one I want the most. Because that's the brilliant thing about digital art. Um, is you can have it, you can have it always if you want to. So I'm going to do that just now. See how I like the kimono look, um, and if I don't like it, well, we'll just we'll keep the we'll keep the the, oh, the other one. Okay, so I do kind of want to have him uh, holding on to the obi, and if it's going, where's it? Where's a bit of fabric? Where's a bit of fabric? Okay, excuse the um, the type of fabric this is, but if I'm standing and holding this, you're only actually going to see like. The top of the fingers is kind of, yeah, it's kind of. I'm going to bring this one down and show more of this finger. Right, so I need to start defining these lines a little bit. Oh, right, hype myself up a little bit. Let's go. Let's make these lines nice. This is a bit that you just don't have to see when I'm a. Uh, not streaming. <laughs> Let's define these lines and then I can go in and um, make it look a bit nicer. One eternity later. I quite like the idea of like an onsen type thing behind them. So let's have, it's quite tall so the door wouldn't be all that far from him. And we could have like the light coming in. Behind him. That does make it a little bit difficult for shadows and things, but it will look pretty by when it's done. Let's merge those layers, let's take this layer away and let's darken up these. Oh my god, it just crashed! When was the last time I saved? Please, for the love of God. I've opened up the autosave. Oh, it's not that far behind. Oh, thank God. That is awful when that happens. It doesn't actually happen that often. Create is really, really good for not crashing. Um, I think it's because I've got so much going on on my computer just now with the, um, with the streaming stuff. I think that's why it's done it. <sighs> Here we go. I had saved just before I did the, the other line. Oh, it was an autosave actually. Um, before I did the other line of the, the door. Oh boy, that, that gave me a fright. <laughs> okay, so I did that. Save. 
<laughs> this, the rest of the stream is just going to be me saving constantly through absolute fear. <laughs> and I do want a couple little bits that kind of come out as well though because his hair does seem to be very like flowy. I'm kind of proud of this. I like it. I'm happy. Ta-da! Okay. So we've saved. Let me think about who has similar skin tone. I quite liked Kakashi's skin tone. I think his would go pretty well. Yeah, let's let's get Kakashi's skin tones. And there we have it. We have turned Asuma Saratobi into Sugurugeto from Jujutsu Kaisen. Successfully, I might say so myself. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you can look out for the finished drawing of Sugurugeto in the next couple of months. And I, uh, I hope you had fun. Bye!